Okay, so we have the Roku 4 all loaded up. And you'll see that the screen and navigation is basically identical to what we've seen so far. They have not really reinvented the wheel here. The main difference is that under settings, you can set it for 4K. See? We've even got two 4K deals. So, obviously, they're not designing this one with those without 4K in mind. We've only got 1080, so we're just sticking with that. The feed imported right over from what we had before. And see, that's a cool thing about Roku. When you've already got an existing Roku account, people say, well, am I going to have to reload all my channels on there and blah, blah, blah? No. If you've already got a Roku and you've already got a channels, it just puts them in place for you. And that's really cool. Now, something I like to do is often I like to go into the home screen, clean it up. So now we've got a little more simple screen. Take a look at the streaming channels, and you'll notice there's a 4K content channel. Here they have everything that has 4K stuff set up for you, including things that you don't already have loaded. Like, I don't think I have Toon Googles. No, I don't. So, I would expect as more services add 4K content, you're going to see it here. And the 4K Spotlight channel is really cool. What they've done here is they pull in any content you can actually watch in 4K, and they've put it on the 4K content channel. And what happens is, say, like you see, you want to watch Jupiter Ascending. This is in Voodoo, and it just tells you. It just brings you into Voodoo. Or if you want, you know... Ghostbusters 2, where's that? It's fighting with me here. See? So it's telling you where it is that you can find this content. This is an Amazon show. Let's find something that's Netflix. House of Cards. Oh, <laughs> that one links it up to Amazon Video. Apparently it's on 4K and Amazon Video. But this is a nice feature because if you have a 4K TV and you get your 4K Roku, you're going to want to experience 4K. And so they've made it very simple, and I think that that's a great feature. Looks like Amazon has made sure that you're going to know where to find their stuff even on the Roku. Otherwise, the main difference between this and, say, the previous Roku 3 is the voice search, unless you already had the Roku 3 with the voice search. Let's just take a look at that. Let's just uh, look for a subject like Batman. And that pulls up. <laughs> Very good. Say, sports. Use all these sports apps. Football. You still have the option to do text search. If you want to do it the old fashioned way. But with the voice search that accurate, it might not be necessary. So it still pulls up the same stuff. But that's cool. So my, my only complaint on the Roku is that I would have expected to be a little snappier, to be honest with you. I mean, it takes kind of a while for some of this art to load. And, you know, when you're in the channel store, you notice, it doesn't load as instantly as I would have expected with, with all the hype. 
But that is what we've got here. Overall, this looks just great. Like I said, if you already liked Roku, you'll like this. If you already had a 4K TV, I would probably recommend getting the Roku 4K. It's going to do everything you need it to do, and it looks like it does it just fine. You know, something I do want to give a shot to. Let's, let's see if it, we can uh, get it to mirror while we're here. It says it's enabled. Just for the sake of it, I'm going to disable it. Looks like we're locking up a little bit here. Okay. I hope that's not going to be a regular problem. All right, so we've enabled it, and I'm just going to try to shoot my screen on real quick. Well, that looks familiar. All right, great. There is Roku mirroring. This is my computer, so that works. Wonderful. All right, so we're going to close with that. I hope this video was helpful. I'm excited to bring it to you, and we will be doing more on Roku and Roku 4 as we move forward. Thank you for watching, and please subscribe to the Streaming Advisor YouTube channel and check us out. Subscribe to our website. Check us out on Facebook, where we can hit you in all kinds of ways. I'm Ryan Downey, the Streaming Advisor. Stream on, my friends.